pros do this with their driver. The rest of us don't. But after this video, you will. Okay, the first thing is this, is T height. How high are you teeing it up? 95% of amateurs tee it up way too high. Pros tee it much, much lower than amateurs. Why is that? Well, because they're going for control. Amateurs, the rest of us, we're going for distance. We're trying to launch that thing as high as possible. Okay, there's time and place for that, but fairway is key for the average player. So first off, we need to start teeing that ball a bit lower than normal. So when you're out there, first thing is just give it a little bit lower than you're used to. Whatever it is, knock it down a little bit and slowly get used to a lower and lower and lower tee height so that you can start getting much more control over that golf ball. That's perfect right there. Any higher is no good. Second thing what amateurs do is amateurs are aiming way right too much. We get our bodies way right and we're, a lot of times we're trying to play these big giant hooks what we want to do, and watch the pros on television, their body and feet are typically way left of where they're hitting the ball. So practice aiming your feet way more left than you're comfortable with, and even open that face of the club just a little bit to get it. So I'm aiming left side of the fairway, and I'm opening the club face to be left center fairway. Okay, have you ever noticed how pros are able to stay in the shot with their driver, but everybody else comes up and out of it? Pros are driving up out of the shot after impact, and amateurs want to do it all at the top of their backswing. So how do we transition that move? You want that move. You're doing something right, but this is the ultimate final key to this, after you get your aim right and that club face slightly open, then T height right, then the last piece is how do we do this move, which is a right move, instead of up here, you want it down here. Right after impact, it's the same exact move. Here's what you're going to do. Okay, all you need to focus on when you take that club back here, instead of firing those hips up like this, we want to have this feeling here as the butt is swinging back. What I like to say is your left butt cheek should go in this position. Just replace the right butt cheek with the left butt cheek. So right here, you're just moving your butt cheeks right there. That's the final piece move. So do a little practice swing like that. You see a lot of the pros doing that move. That's why, because they're just focused on getting that butt cheek right in the, right over there. And then when you do your real swing, it's not gonna be so dramatic, but I want you to feel like you're actually doing that. And this is what it should look like. And in case you're wondering, yeah, that's the move for basically all your shots. If you don't replace your butt cheeks, you're gonna end up doing this and shooting your butt cheeks forward. So that's why the pros are able to stay down through the shot so much better than the rest of us. Let me know how that's working for you. Thanks for watching. Crush it out there. Love you guys. See you in the next video.